So the other day I was going through Play Store to see what gamers been up to these days. And my cross brought me to these ultimately weird games with tons of downloads. Just like this one here from Denny, who, I mean, just look at this game. Who would want to really play the I bet no one does. But then... Oh. So it was time for me to make a really weird game for myself. And I found myself a comparatively weird one. Strange guy. And like the name suggests, you can just straight the guy like he's super strategy and stuff. So I decided to just rip it off piece by piece. I started working on making the prototype and the first step was to make a 2D ragdoll that actually acts like a ragdoll. And after some trial and error, I got it working, like really working. As you can see, never mind. It just needs a bit of muscles to connect the lens to the body. And of course, I needed to make it super stretchy like the real game. And after some work on it, it turned out to be like this. So you can drag him around and the lens will just get stretched back to the body, uh, invisibly. So now we just needed to make it look more realistic and not some invisible joints connecting the limbs to the body. So I gave him a line renderer for the arms so that we can actually see what's going on. And yeah, after some intense bit of coding for the joints. I got things working. Oops, just cut it right there. Our strategy guy now looks like a real guy, doesn't he? And now we can also drag him around from his feet or his hands if you want. So all there is left to do is make our guy stick to the walls like a Spider-Man. And here he goes. Of course, I need to play around with some of the settings to make it feel real, uh, like a human being. And we also need to break the joints if we are a straight guy. Cause everything has limits, right? And I mistakenly turned him into a stretchy monkey instead. So I just So I just had to taught him how to evolve from monkeys to humans. And after some intense training session he started behaving more like a human or a Spider-Man if you will. And if we try to overstretch him, it has would just turn red. Because that's what humans do, right? But still, there's some work to do. And also, now our guy breaks if we all straight the limbs. But the game looks super boring, so I give it a new look. And it still looks ugly as like the real game, eh? But now our guy here looks really happy. And he now has motions that he can express. And if we try to stretch him, he would just get torn apart. Cause that's what the real game says here. So I had to do it. No offense, dude. 
And now it was time to add some spikes to the game to make it more playable. So I just started to randomly throw some spikes into our level and call it a day. So now if we try to go ahead and touch those spikes, let's see, we will just die because yeah you get the point, we need to die one way or the other. And all that's left is to make the finish line so we can actually win the game and not die all the time. And I also added some UI so we can actually restart the game once, once we finish it. And after some intense coding for the game manager and stuff. Our game is now ready. So let's go ahead and try to finish this level without dying or getting torn apart. But first let me tell you, these stunts are performed by a highly trained professional. Do not try these at home or school or anywhere. You get the point. Thanks. Alright so let's try to finish this off. I just need to get the head straight into the finished circle. Yep. Alright so our game is now complete but this one has got levels. We need to do is to add some levels to our game otherwise it would be all for nothing. So here we go. This one looks too easy for me. But I have got my own bake. It's my game so I can just do whatever I want to do. So yeah now I can just easily go to the finish line and finish the game. Yep, there we go. So yeah, I don't think there's anything else left in the game that I can do to make it look more insane than it already is. So, so yeah, if you like this weird game, which I know you did, make sure you hit that like button and yeah, you know the drill. The link will be in the description, grab the game, just do whatever you want to do with it. And I'll see you in the next one.